Because this guy cracks me up. <laughs> it's like half of the things he says is right, but he like pronounces everything wrong. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna look at some more classic cocktail recipe videos. So the first classic cocktail recipe we're gonna look at today is the Sazerac. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a mixing cup to get our ingredients in there. And what we're going to do, first of all, is take one ounce of our brandy. Uh, you could use either brandy or rye whiskey, just depending on what you like. The original recipe called for brandy. So that was quite low on the jigger there. You're supposed to always fill up to the top. And one ounce is actually not a lot for the Sazerac. Usually I've seen it like more like two ounces since it is a spirit for drink. So we've got, that's what we're gonna do, we're old school. Then what we're gonna use is simple syrup and we're gonna use half ounce of our simple syrup. And that is way too sweet. Especially if you're only gonna use one ounce of spirit and you're gonna add half an ounce of simple syrup. Like the proportion should be more on two ounces of spirit and maybe like a quarter ounce of simple syrup. Maybe half an ounce, but that's like the upper limit. Then the other thing that we're gonna add is some Picard bitters. Picard bitters? So I have a bottle of Peychaud's bitters, which that's what it looks like. It's spelled P-E-Y-C-H-A-U-D-S. How did he get Picard out of that spelling? To chill this down, okay. So why this is chilling, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take absinthe, and absinthe is... Absinthe? He said it twice, so that's not a mistake. He's, that's how he thinks it. it's absinthe. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our long bar spoon, stir this around like so, right? Get it nice and chill. Take our strainer, let's get it in there. Oh, it's fighting me. Then, we're gonna take a orange peel, right? Just squeeze the orange side down so we get that orange oil right there floating on top. Put it right on top like so, and there we have it, our Sazerac cocktail. You don't typically serve it on a um, martini glass. It's usually served on a rocks glass that's chilled with no ice. And the garnish is usually um, a lemon twist. Okay, the next classic cocktail looks like it's gonna be a, another mojito. Start with two ounces of rum, white rum, Don Q is amazing. All right, two ounces of white rum. So far, so good. Wait, why is she putting it into a measuring cup? All right, muddle it till all those mint pieces begin to fall apart and you know that the mint flavoring is really being added to the rum and the lime and the simple syrup. Okay, so you do not need to muddle the mint. Uh, all you need to do is just uh, jostle the leaves around so that it releases the aromatics. And that's enough uh, for the mojito. If you muddle the mint, it's gonna bruise and it's gonna turn brown. It's gonna release bitter components into the cocktail. All right, now I'm going to strain this into your glass catch some of those mint leaves. We can put some more in a little bit later, but I don't want too many floating around in the drink. There we go, beautiful. I'm going to add my mojito mix. About an ounce or two, however strong you like it to be. This makes no sense. What's in this mojito mix? Mojito is light rum, sugar, lime juice, and soda water. She already has put the simple syrup and the lime juice. So why is she using the mix? Top it off with some Sprite. Oh, no. Why would you do that? This is going to be so sweet. It should be soda water. A mojito is essentially a mint daiquiri served as a highball. The soda water is meant to stretch the drink. It doesn't need any more sugar. And there you have it. Let's garnish it with some fresh lime and some more mint. All right, now she has some perfectly good florets there. Why is she using those flat leaves? That is delicious. It was easy to make. It's going to be easy to drink. This video is overcomplicating the drink. It's actually, she has all the ingredients she needed to make a mojito from scratch. Once again, the mojito is light rum, lime juice, simple syrup, and soda water, and mint leaves. She just added so many extra steps for no reason. Like why are you using mixer if you have 
all the ingredients that you need from the beginning. Okay, looks like the next drink is going to be the tequila sunrise. Fill it by rock glass with ice, first of all. And what I'm going to show you how to make is a tequila sunrise, which is a built drink. Now, tequila sunrise calls for tequila, and I'm going to use an ounce of tequila. Two hours later. Oh my god. If you're gonna film a cocktail recipe video, have everything ready. How hard is it to do another take? How hard is it to do? So I've got my tequila in there. Then what I'm gonna do is take a little fresh orange juice. Pour it right in like so. There we go. That's not fresh orange juice. Enjoy it. Thanks for joining us. Slowest tequila sunrise ever. The next drink right now is gonna be the Cuba Libre. This drink is called a, a Cuba Libra. Did he say Cuba Libra? It's Cuba Libre, as in free Cuba. Libra is an astrological sign. And for you people out there who know Spanish, I'm sure you know what Cuba Libra means. It means free Cuba. This guy cracks me up. <laughs> It's like half of the things he says is right, but he like pronounces everything wrong. So the next drink is the Caipirinha. This drink is called a Capriana. Capriana. <laughs> Wait, how did he say it? Capriana. Capriana is a uh, cocktail that comes from Brazil. And it's becoming more and more popular here in the United States. However, to make it, you need a special type of liqueur. Uh, this is a uh, bottle that I brought back from Brazil, and it's a liquor called Cachaca. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's not Cachaca, it's Cachaca. If you've been to Brazil, how did you get that bottle without pronouncing it correctly? How did you order the cocktail without pronouncing it correctly? And this is a little baseball bat, it's uh, called a muddler. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mash down. He's using the wrong end of that muddler. Now what we're gonna add is our ice. Put our ice right in there. We're gonna add an ounce of our cachaca. Wait, that's not the same bottle that he had earlier. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little dash of our club soda, which is our carbonated water. No, oh, that's not right. There's no soda water in the Caipirinha. It's not a mojito. And what I've seen the bartenders do in Brazil, sometimes what they'll do is they'll just put, oh, just a quick dash of sweet and sour in there. No! Why would you do that? No, they, they don't put sweet and sour mix. Why would you use fresh limes and then ruin it? With sweet and sour mix. No, they don't they don't use sweet and sour mix. They don't use soda water The soda water It's one thing to butcher the pronunciations but Sweet and sour mix Come on. The reason why they want to put the quick dash of sweet and sour in there is sometimes uh, the limes don't have a lot of juice in there What are you talking about? Not enough limes in Brazil So the next one is gonna be the brandy Cocktail. So brandy cocktail. This is called brandy cocktail. Go ahead and start off by putting your ice in your glass. Get a good amount of ice for this cocktail. We're going to do two ounces of brandy. Now we're going to do about a half an ounce of sugar syrup. About a half an ounce of sugar syrup. There we go. She's pouring on the wrong side of the jigger. Now we're going to do two dashes of bitters. I think two dashes is perfect for this cocktail. And shake this all together. Really good. No, you do not shake spirit forward cocktails. The brandy cocktail is essentially a brandy old fashioned. You don't shake your old fashions. You can see all the sugar from the sugar syrup starting to blend. Get your cocktail glass out. This is what your brandy cocktail is gonna look like. And last but- That looks like a whiskey sour. The next one is gonna be a hurricane. How to make a hurricane. Step one. Fill a cocktail shaker with cracked ice. Step two. 
Add pineapple, grapefruit, and orange juices. How much of each? Also, I've never seen a hurricane with orange juice and grapefruit juice. Step three. Pour in light rum, dark rum, gin, and amaretto. Amaretto, gin. Step four. Strain into a cocktail glass. He didn't even shake the drink. In addition to the ingredients being wrong, he didn't even shake it. Why would you put it in a shaker and not shake the drink? Step five. Top with a splash of grenadine. Not roll this grenadine again. Step six. Garnish with a cherry and a slice of lime. You don't even have ice in a drink. Like. Dude, the cherry just goes all the way down. You can't even see it. Wait, what's the point of having a garnish that you can't even see? <laughs> That's not a hurricane. That's like a Long Island sunrise or something like that. Okay, the next drink is gonna be the classic margarita. So our margarita uses triple sec, tequila, margarita mix or sweet and sour mix. Oh. What's with people and sour mixes? I don't understand. This is a bartending school. Sour mix is what people use at home or at a club. But why would you teach someone to do things the wrong way? But we're going to serve this up. So we're going to put lime juice right on the rim of our glass, just like so, right around there. There you go. And then I'm going to put it in kosher salt, thick salt. And you can see that the drink Whoa. gets a nice. Are you trying to make a cocktail or give someone high blood pressure? Do you want some margarita with that salt? I'm going to use. Half ounce of our triple sec, which is a orange peelish flavored liquor. Got a triple sec there. Then what I'm going to use is one ounce of our tequila. There we go. Oh, good. He found it this time. Give it a little twist to seal it, and then shake it seven or eight times. There we go. Shaking it up, nice and thoroughly, getting it nice and cold. Getting that uh, sweet. Ugh, no banging on the bar. Please. We don't need glass chips all over the ice. Well, anyways, that was the video. If you enjoyed that, please check out these other videos that I posted um, before. If you have any recommendations on what cocktail recipes that you've seen online that you want me to react to, please leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.